Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rita Wells and you know, if you want to know about me, I'm just more than a reader. I'm also a prophetess and a healer and a shaman and a high priestess. I have all the gifts and all of that stuff. So we have cleared and um, I had shuffled and cleared the energy. This is going to be a dark reading. I'm an expert of diving into the dark. So if you have entity attachments, shadow work, traumas, any of that to move through, heal, this is the place to be. I feel some of the darkest energies on this planet, which is why I'm able to um, catalyze people into their highest self. So this is for your twin flame connection. We're going to take a look and see what exactly is with the person on your mind, what energies are currently influencing um, and healing and what's happening in the shadow. We're going to do a shadow dive today, okay? If you do get triggered by the shadow, you guys, and um, I, I deal with warriors, okay, who are really ready to not just look at the floofy stuff. You can't just look at the fluffy stuff. You only get the fluffy stuff until you dive through this darkness. So if you get easily triggered, I would highly suggest um, clicking off. Okay, let's take a look. It's not for the fragile at heart. Let's see what are the energies between the twins right now, Spirit? What is currently blocking or trying to elevate? Because the darkness is always trying to elevate us by moving through, showing us our fears. What is the energy between the twin flames at this time? Let's take a look. Okay. Unrequited love. All right. So we have unrequited love between the two is coming in from the Akashic. It's moving down in between your connection and a projection of how you deal with unrequited love. So both of you are in this place. You can't see this writing on this, but it says projection. Um, of not feeling the same about each other. And this is the energy that was put into your Akashic in both of your energies, okay? Um, no matter where the masculine is or where the feminine is at, is there has been a rejection here of this connection. And then you end up projecting those feelings onto the other when it's, this is the mirrored effect where the unrequited love is within yourself. And instead of taking responsibility for yourself, we end up projecting it to another person. Let's see where the masculine's headspace, masculine's on the side, feminine's on the side, but, um, Take it as it resonates, okay? Because we move between the two. Masculine is differently abled, okay? Feminine is spellbound. So, could be spell work being done to this divine feminine. Um, black magic, or she's trying to manifest and her channel's not clear, and um, things aren't clearing for her. Heart space for masculine is absent father. Heart space for divine feminine is unsteady finances. Okay, this is the masculine energy and the mirroring that's happening here. What is the intention towards of the masculine? We have poverty. Hmm. He's got a, a big lack mindset that's happening here. Let's see what's going on with divine feminine. Delusional. Delusioned. Oh, this is about the illusions and buying into the illusions of what's being presented in the 3D. Okay, the outcome for Divine Masculine is perpetrator. How he attacks, how he goes after what he desires. And Divine Feminine is avoidant. And whenever I get a blank card, there's only like two of these in the deck. That means that that's over. So that's the next card is the blank card. So we're on track here, okay? This is what's happening in this connection at this time. So... Let's get a little bit more into the shadow, shall we? Let's see. So there's a lot of unrequited love. This pattern is still happening. I don't love you. You don't love me. The bifeminine is, is feeling that way. And so is um, the masculine. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to get that deck again. Let's see how the masculine's perception is towards the divine feminine with unrequited love and projection. Where is he at personally? Verbal abuse. Okay. This masculine may feel the divine feminine may verbally abuse him or he's used to women of verbally abusing him and um, he may have been somewhat verbally abusive also to the divine feminine okay projected that because um, he didn't want to move into this love 
It could also be a self-judgment or verbally abusing himself, okay? Let's take a look at this Divine Feminine towards the masculine with unrequited love and projection. What is this Divine Feminine? Karma. Divine Feminine is saying this is a karmic cycle. You're just projecting and verbally abusing me because of all this karma. So, okay. <clears throat> Goodness. Sorry, guys. Let's see what else is going on in this connection. And then we'll get some tarot on top of this. What is going on with the twins at this time? What are the dark energies that are playing out in their connection? These wanted to come out. This flipped up. Queen of my world, blinded to pain, and alone in the world. Seems like both twins are alone right now and just not facing their pain of this connection and what's causing it and trying to manifest in their own life, either separately or with somebody else. But they're really trying to ignore this love, which is creating this unrequited love energy between the two. Let's see what else is happening. This is the wall of pain, is what I'm hearing. The wall of shame, the wall of pain. What is going on between the twins right now, Spirit? What is going on with the twins right now? Let's see this mirror connection. What is going on between the two? Thank you. Atonement. So this is like the Ten of Swords. It's like, how long are you going to live in this unrequited love situation? Okay. It's like this unrequited love you both have to go through. Facing that with one another, take another, taking the swords in your back. It provided the more betrayal. It provided you strength to rise out of it. And this is for both twins, right? This people kept stabbing you in the back. You could have had a lot of past relationships that were just unrequited love. So how is this any different? It's a thought process of turning your back finally on this connection and looking in a new direction because it feels too painful. And this is where the pain of the connection is being mirrored between the two of you. Temple of my body and focusing on, you know, where am I projecting these energies? Because when you project it in the mirror to your twin, it immediately comes back to you. So it's almost like there could be health issues here. There could be um, mental issues, depression or sadness or just stagnancy. Um, because there's a projection happening between both twins. Both of you are believing in this unrequited love, believing that it's just painful, turning away from each other, turning away from the love. Both of you are doing this. It doesn't matter who's done it first or what's happened. This is the mirrored energy, okay? And it's the temple of my world. It's affecting your actual body, okay? So if you're having health things happening to you and you're not feeling well, it's because of your own projection, towards your twin, okay? Well, they would never love me because of what I've done to them, or, you know, um, this person never wanted this, so it's over, and you treated me like shit, or whatever the case may be. That's, these are the lies. We're doing a dark energy read. These are the lies that are coming out, okay? So let's take a look at the masculine energy. He has an addiction, okay? He's addicted to things. Look at the swords in his back. This masculine is sitting very similarly with these swords in his back, okay? How can I love you? How can I give love when I'm so different? I feel different. I feel like an outcast. I have addictions. This masculine has a lot of shame, and he feels that he's also put those swords in this Divine Feminine's back. So here's Divine Feminine taking all of the swords as, meant, as much as this Divine Feminine. Look at this. Okay? And they're both looking at each other. Like, I feel what you feel. This is a mirrored pain. We're both feeling this unrequited love. And it's and she's almost looking at him with this light. Like, I know you're differently able and it's okay. And he has shame for maybe how he's treated her in this aspect, okay, of unrequited love. Okay, Divine Feminine is feeling naked before the stars. So she's feeling very vulnerable. There could be spell work being done on her. We have spellbound. She could have been casted out um, by third party energies, maybe whatever this masculine has been doing, whatever betrayals happen in this connection. It's kind of forced her to move into, we have a number 18, so it's a nine coming to an end of a cycle. It's also, you know, um, realizing her power and her vulnerability 
and in her surrender to spirit and to the creator and realizing that she's gaining some magical gifts if she does this, okay? It's interesting how they're both looking at each other, the masculines over here, feeling very addicted, shameful, um, lost in his world, and she's becoming vulnerable in this because neither one is feeling this requited love. You know, it's not reciprocal at this time. And um, this Divine Feminine may also be thinking there's just too much karma to deal with, okay? Masculine is heart space is dealing with an absent father at this time where bride in a cage he seems like he can't ever get relationships off the ground marriage commitment fear of commitment locking up divine feminine in a box okay like knowing that this is a union knowing this is their person but locking this person away behind a cage because that's what their father this is what this person's father may have done was abandon the feminine side the sensitivity the love the nurturing the intimacy okay that he's missed with this absent father and to just lock up your sensitivity and how you're connected to your divine feminine and just lock them up in a cage this is what's happened with this masculine he feels almost that feeling and vulnerability um he learned from his father or from a masculine energy in his life that you don't go there okay divine feminine is having unsteady finances trying to manifest and create for tomorrow okay so i feel she's getting a hold of this okay we have a little bit more illumination coming on the divine feminine side you see the moon is full here it's half filled here but it's not filled at all on the masculine side okay so she may be creating partnerships friendships new communities and starting to get out of a place of unsteady finances okay we have masculine here now actually in poverty through his addictions, through his um, depression, through his um, projections, his verbal abuse. Oh, sorry, guys. I feel like I'm clearing energy here. I feel like this is this verbal abuse is how he talks to himself. I think he's his worst enemy here. Parasitical. Okay. Parasite. Um, he may have lost everything from a third party or from people just sucking off of him, okay? Through his addictions, he may have really codependent relationships because of this trapping his feminine energy away, pushing her away, not feeling, being very head over heart all the time, okay, not trusting his intuition, not trusting those gut feelings, and really believing that this person would never love me i'm just projecting everything and really verbally abusing himself so now he's stuck in in poverty lack loss because and parasitical people around him okay divine feminine is alone in the world she's naked she's vulnerable she's really coming into some form of illumination here through this darkness so she's starting to hold a really bright light here with spirit she's also looking towards her future and this card was disillusionment. She's she's looking away from the divine masculine here. Okay? Being vulnerable with God and saying, I'm moving forward. You know, maybe I am in disillusionment. This is unrequited love. This person doesn't love me. This person's treated me this way. This person was verbally abusive. This person is, you know, pushing me away. And so even though she may have felt something, she's definitely moving away from that and being vulnerable and honest with herself okay divine masculine is perp perpetrator he's going after things that wow greed look at this look at this demon gluttony okay this gluttony greed selfish money sex drugs rock and roll party time okay playboy this person doesn't want to mature and so he's still aggressively moving towards that gluttony gluttony is such a demon okay jealousy money overindulgence okay um and this divine feminine is here avoiding that she's calling in the storm she's like, i'm dealing with that she's coming into an awareness of how wounded this masculine is how he wants to be an addiction he wants parasitical people around him he doesn't care about healing his father wound he's trapping his emotions He's, and these are all the dark things that are coming up and he's just perpetuating the gluttony and the selfishness.
the narcissistic tendencies that we all have. But if you grow the narcissism, you be you give up your soul to the state to the demons. You know what I mean? You give up yourself, your empathic natural light to the darkness and this is what i'm feeling this masculine is doing this feminine can't stay here she's avoiding it she's taking her arrow she's she's calling in the storm she's like whatever i need to move forward god move me forward let's see this masculine with this verbal abuse towards the divine feminine he's like maybe he said some harsh words to her he's like she would never want me i put all these swords in her back it's unrequited and he's projecting a lot of things here frag now he's fragmented see now he can't seem to find himself he doesn't know how to come back to this okay so these are the dark energies i'm going to pull the light codes as well and see what's transforming um but this is where the darkness is sitting right now okay so this is um he's sitting in fragmentation his soul's been fragmented he only knows addiction He's not paying attention to Divine Feminine. He's not dealing with his father wounding. He's lost. He's lost money. He's losing financial gains. He's um, opportunities, home, parasitical people just stealing from him. And he's just stuck in the cycle of gluttony because it feels good. It feels good to his senses, you know, not his heart and soul. He's completely head over heart here. <coughs> divine Feminine is like deal with your karma. I'm not dealing with it, I'm avoidant, I'm being vulnerable to God, and I'm moving forward, and I'm working on my magic, and uh, I know that you're, all of this is, is coming towards me, like, it's almost like she can feel the energy coming towards her, and she, it may feel like spell work, but even if people send negative energy your way, it's a form of spell work, okay? We have, well, we've got three here, how she feels towards divine ma mask, and perchance to dream, I won't cry for you and peaceful among the thorns. So she's really in a place of balance here, okay? She's closed off her heart. She's like, you don't want to dream the impossible dream. You don't want to believe that you can have it all. You don't want to believe in the magic, the mysticism, because you're so fucking afraid of taking this one little step of looking at the dark ass shit of what's keeping you stuck and believing that anything you do to me is going to create unrequited love. When she knows she still loves this masculine, but she's no, she loves herself more. She's not dealing with this, right? This masculine is, looks dead in this in this picture, okay? He's lost his soul here. She's like, I'm not going to cry for you. You chose this. You picked, you wanted to go with parasitical people. What am I going to do? Peaceful among the thorns. She's holding her peace. She's like, deal with your karma. And she's cutting it off as a karmic cycle. Okay, guys? So this is um, really intense energies with this connection. Okay, let's see what is transforming. I want to pick a deck. <sighs> I don't know what deck I want. Let's get some details with the Kipper and see exactly what it is. That's the physical ailments that are affecting the 3D and then we're going to get into the higher realms. I know what I'm doing and then we're going to clarify with some tarot, okay? So, are we already 18 minutes in? Are you freaking kidding me? How did this get? How am I 18 minutes into this reading already, guys? Is that a serious thing? Okay, let's see these dark energies. This was a gift that wasn't being able to be received, okay? This union was uh, a gift from God but someone didn't treat it that way. Let's take a look. What is going on between the masculine and the feminine energies at this time? Okay. So unrequited love is happening. There is a decision that is coming down with this unrequited love, okay? Somebody is making a decision with this unrequited love. Sorry, I'm trying to make it so you guys can see it, but it is what it is um projection see this could be the third party somebody privilege the temple of my body um this could be uh an individual that somebody is going to court with could be karma if this is a karmic situation okay third party doesn't have to be it could be about finances and um somebody in control of this masculine's finances or um who's holding the resources and there's some kind of like pain that's happening here because of some decisions 
that need to happen in regards to um, a connection that somebody is in with unrequited love. And it's a lot to do with how they're projecting this barrier to keep these two apart. Definitely feels like third party energy, okay? Projecting. And now there's like, their projection is causing bodily harm. Whoever is sick, somebody is sick in this, okay? They're not having very healthy, um, prosperous endeavors that are happening in their life, okay? This is maturing the masculine out of his addiction, okay? Divine Feminine is realizing that um, this person, this third party could have projected also spell magic to keep this feminine out of her finances and her abundance. Didn't want this feminine to come into abundance here, okay? This Divine Masculine is realizing that he trapped himself, into a courtship or with somebody and put his divine feminine in a cage and this divine feminine is you know sitting here message of concern on steady finances <clears throat> um give me another one on top of that let's take another one on top of that about money she may be getting a message about partnerships and working with other people and moving in a direction a new direction more collaboration um, that's going to help her because she's manifesting new wealth, right? And this masculine sitting in poverty here, it's going to move the masculine because of this false person, parasitical false person. Can't make it up, guys. He's lost everything because of this damn ass bitch over here, right? So Divine Feminine is sitting here in despair. Um, she's like, well, I'm alone again. I'm alone. This was all an illusion. She's not buying into it. She's like, whatever this was, it's just a huge fucking karmic cycle. Some of you may just be saying this is just a fucking karmic cycle. Even if it is my twin, there's too much karma here. I don't want to deal with it. Masculine is gluttony for his money. Look at this greedy, selfish motherfucker here. Perpetual. He's always going after the coin. Divine Feminine is saying... Well, I'm calling in the storm thief. I'm avoiding this because this feminine is coming into some cash here. We've got sudden wealth, fortune. She's focused on her coin. Things are about to manifest for divine feminine. And she's saying here, I'm avoiding this because if I go, this masculine greedy is going to come after me when the money happens. This masculine is saying verbal abuse here. High honor. He's fragmented. He doesn't see this high honor. Give me another one on that. That's why he's in a bad place. He's having health issues because of whatever third party is telling him about money and finances and a high honor and projecting all this shit. And Divine Feminine is sitting here like, this is just karma. I'm not going to cry for you. Go fucking sit in it, asswipe. Like, seriously, go sit in it. Enjoy. She's concerned that he's ever going to get out of this. He's going to end up dying from health issues. She's like, yeah, I was the gift to get you the fuck out of there, but you don't want that. You don't want that. So this is a very stuck connection at this time. Okay. Um, it's not moving anywhere. Let's, let's do some clarification. It's not currently moving anywhere. Um, this masculine is so greedy, guys. Whatever is going on with this masculine, he just gives a shit about money. He doesn't care about his livelihood. He doesn't give a shit about his soul. He doesn't care about any of that. He just cares about getting it. This is somebody who has some dynamic attachments. Spirit is saying to be very aware of the attachments to this masculine. Okay, so this is not a twin flame being that's coming in anytime soon. Not what I'm seeing. This is, um, you're dealing with somebody who cheats, who lies, who projects, who doesn't take ownership, who's selfish, who only wants money, who's only in it for a good time. Um, who's casted the divine feminine away, who doesn't want to look at this and is believing this bitch ass hoe over here um, and projecting things until, you know, this can take someone's life. I'm getting from a past life that this karmic person took this person's life in another life. It's like repeating that cycle. So let's see, what is this unrequited love and this, this block, this third party block between the, the twins here? What is this spirit? What is this block here? This was fated to happen this way, okay, guys? This projection, this bad health, this unrequited love, these decisions, um, and the betrayal that happened to the Divine Feminine. When you do this to a Divine Feminine, God is now in charge. Karma is now turning the wheel of this. All of this dark energy that's happened, okay, is now coming back to this bitch. Let's see about this third party. 
drinking, having a good time, reunion. What is this happening between? Getting honest. Look at this. Eventually, this connection is going to end toxicity. Fate. Karma's turning the wheel in the direction of a reunion, a friendship, and getting really honest with what this karmic energy is doing and projecting because the masculine is getting sick. This masculine is dealing with verbal abuse, could be from the karmic, but it's also a lot of injustice and indecisions because um, they recognize the high honor of this, but they don't think the divine feminine will want anything to do with this masculine because of his greed, because of his selfishness, because he's been so indecisive and so he's in a loop. He's stuck in a loop. Someone could be verbally abusing him. He's verbally abusing himself. He's in a bad, like guys, this guy could die from this. I don't know what's going on. If you find out that your masculine is sick, he's not doing well, okay? Um, tell me one more about this masculine. Yeah, he's in a dark ass place with the moon. So Divine Feminine is sitting here. Well, you called it in. Have enjoy your fucking karma. She don't care. She's like, I'm I'm getting gifted from the universe. You don't want to rise up as a divine masculine. Okay. We have the three of wands in reverse. She's like, you've been waiting here for so long and not moving anywhere. You don't want to rise up. You, you're overly controlling. You're overbearing. You just want your money. You just want your damn ass greed. You just want it the way that you want it. Yeah, and nothing ever gets started because you're picking this queen of wands, right? And tell me about this gift. Divine Feminine is sitting here. She's like, I was the gift. Yeah, see the tower. She's like, this Divine Feminine is recognizing her words saying, I was the damn gift. This Feminine has... Uh, definitely moved on from these darker energies she's transmuting it okay and um this is if you need help with this you guys hit me up um for a reading or a coaching session especially if you've got a dark ass masculine like this i have a lot of divine feminines recognize demons and dark entity attachments and how to move through it and how not to buy into this stuff okay this masculine believes he's differently abled and so because of his absent father, he can't be in this courtship with this Divine Feminine. So he picks toxic ass shit. <laughs> he's waking up to this. He's starting to mature. So it's going to take some time, but he's he's coming into this understanding that he may have given his cup in an immature way to somebody who's just parasitical and just as selfish as he is. He's just as selfish and nothing is ever going to heal. And there's always going to be disharmony in this situation. It's getting him to be very courageous to tame his ego here. Wherever he's been a coward, I'm hearing that he's been quite the coward in this connection because he's so greedy that he had to put a stop to his playboy ways. Tell me about this false person too and his parasitical addiction. He's in. This person may need to go to rehab here is what I'm hearing. He has like, I don't know, really bad addiction. So let's see what's going on with this. He's lost a lot of money. Poverty, five of pentacles, loss. This bitch has got this take. I'm sorry. Serves you right. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Serves you right. Listen, let them purify. Divine Feminine, it's okay to be happy that your masculine's going through this. There's nothing wrong with that. If, if they're that stubborn, well, then that, they're that stubborn because Divine Feminine is over here focused on her wealth. Let's see the spellbound because there's my, there's always trying to affect her finances. There may have been some pain here. Waking up in the middle of the night, some worry and some anxiety here about your finances because of the past. This could have been spell work that was done in the past with this bitch. Tell me about this bitch doing spell work on the Divine Feminine. Definitely doing spell work on you. Um, it's being blocked now, okay? It, nothing, they everything they give is received. It's it's coming going right back to this karmic energy with the swords. Now they're getting the atonement, okay? So anything that's happened with this spell work, trying to project things, trying to steal from the divine feminine. Divine feminine is calling in. Come and try and fucking steal from me. She's saying, she's avoiding it. She knows she's protected here. She's having a resurrection here, out of loss and money, finances. Everything's coming up good. Everything's coming up. What is that saying? Everything's coming up. Charlie? What? <laughs> what am I hearing? Everything's coming up green. Everything's coming up for the Divine Feminine, okay? So she's really put her foot down. She's letting fate and divine timing take charge of this. And she's healing herself. And she's moving forward in this renewal of herself. 
Um, she's really healed a lot of this energy. She's balancing. She's she's written it off as unrequited love. Okay. She's like, he just wants bitch ass hoes, so let him go have that, right? She's aligned to her destiny. She's healing. She's not fighting this anymore. She and she's gonna fight for her her destiny. She's not dealing with this ten of cups in reverse anymore. She's like, I'm done. I don't care who the fuck you are to me. I'm over it. She's not fighting this anymore. She's moving towards what's destined for her. And she's definitely persevering as this wounded warrior. <clears throat> and moving forward with that. She's not putting up. She's definitely not putting up with that. She's been broken down too many times. She understands it. She doesn't want to fight it anymore. She's definitely like nine of cups in reverse. She's so done, this feminine. How is that affecting the masculine over here? He's in a dark ass place because I think this masculine can feel this feminine is completely done. Oh, yeah. Look at this. King of Cups with the Two of Cups and the Divine Feminine in reverse. He picked a relationship with a greedy ass hoe over here who's not his Divine Feminine. And so how he feels now is... There we go. He pushes Divine Feminine away. Now he wants to move on to calmer waters. He knows that he has to end a relationship and make a decision of ending it with this karmic bitch. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. How does he feel about this Queen of Pentacles? He manipulated the situation with Divine Feminine. He probably told her, you're not my type, you're not my person, na 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 na. Or was actually verbally abusive in some of your cases. Um, and he manipulated the situation. And because of that, he's now facing massive rejection. He rejected. Yeah, tell me about this towards Divine Feminine. He rejected... He's going to come forward. He's trapped right now, but he's thinking about traveling and coming forward with the message to get over this heartbreak and this rejection. He's realizing when he rejects his divine feminine, nothing happened in his life. It just got worse. Tell me about that. Tell me how it got worse. <laughs> yeah, it got worse because he had to walk because he walked away. Now he wants to walk away from all of everything that's failed. He ain't winning no more. Not winning anymore. I'm so sorry that you suck ass. And you're not, you're not winning anymore. You may win for a little bit. And the Divine Feminine is like, sorry, it's over. Let's see about this. Let's get this one out. Actually, let's, let's do this one too. Let's see what is happening in this mirrored connection right now. Get some final messages. I can't believe that went 32 minutes already. Let's get some final. What is, the, what is the union energies between the two? What is the mirrored energies between the two right now? Your intuition is telling you this. Trust it. Trust what's happening. Okay. What's going on here between the two? Dreams. Both of you are looking at dreams and you could be meeting each other in your dreams. But it's also about what you want to manifest. There's surrender on the bottom. Surrendering this unrequited love. Let's see what's going on with this masculine towards this connection towards this divine feminine. He loves her. Now he's like, I walked away. I failed. Nothing worked. How is he feeling towards this karmic energy? This karmic bitch ass hoe. He's releasing this bitch ass hoe. Now he's realizing I have to make a decision and release this cunt. All I do is just lose money. It's just over and over and over again. And this divine feminine towards the masculine, I don't think she gives a shit. To be honest, I think she's like so over it. She's like, I've been patient. I've been nothing but patient, motherfucker. But I'm creating now. I ain't waiting for you to create what I want to create. She's channel. She knows she's a channel for divine beauty. So she's surrendered too. She's observing what's happening and nothing is happening. So she's moving on. Let's take a look here. What is going on with the divine masculine and the divine feminine? Interesting read, guys. I thought I'd do this. To see what's transmuting so you can see the energies underlying what was happening in the shadow and where they're each trying to move through. Again, if you guys want to work with me, hit me up, book me. It's probably my last year doing this. Um, so yeah, hit me up. If you're having trouble, read my reviews. They're all really amazing. I work some, with some amazing, powerful divine feminines. Let me tell you, I do take men. I do work with men. But I'm mostly here for the divine feminines. Okay, let's take a look. What is going on? I just find masculine men are just, I don't know. I'm, I'm too feminine for them. So they would have to really surrender to their emotions. And I find a lot of masculine energies are not ready to go that deep. Not yet. Not yet. I don't think it's in the collective yet. 
psychically or intuitively, I, but I believe that's coming. So let's take a look. Um, what is going on? Because I, I, I deal with a lot of psychic energy. So I deal with those who know they have a gift um, and that they're getting siphoned and they're ready to level up to that point of their psychic abilities. So um, I'm not just about the mind patterns. I'm about your soul. So let's see about this divine masculine. How is he feeling towards the divine feminine at this time? So he's saying, I have ego. Yes, I'm admitting my ego now. The karmic wheel is turning and you are my other half. How is he feeling towards this karmic and this release of this karmic? He's doubting anything that this karmic says. What is he doubting? He's trusting his intuition now and the doubts that are coming. So he's releasing this karmic. What is the divine feminine towards this masculine? She's listening to her intuition, guys. Can't even. She's looking for her life partner. She goes, I know you're my life partner, but I've gone within and I'm working on my inner issues. And I'm being guided to a higher level of commitment. Something else is coming in for this divine feminine. She's working on her abundance. She's looked away from this. Tell me about another soulmate. Tell me about another soulmate for this divine feminine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, third party knows about you. So you could be with somebody else, divine feminine. They may know, you may know, they may know of your twin. Um, but this distance is starting to kill this masculine energy. It could also be that you're in a connection and you're running away from this sacred connection because you still feel your masculine and um, you're running away and being with somebody else. It could be that. Um, So for some of you, it is about running away, but for others, tell me for others, I don't feel that's for everybody. It's also a rebirth. So, and saying no. So for some of you, you may be in another connection that is affecting, that's catalyzing you and recognizing what this connection was meant to do for you and where you ran away in the connection, maybe being with somebody else um, and it's killing you. It's the distance is hurting. So you have no choice but to transmute this darkness and to move forward for yourself, not with this third party that you're dealing with. Um, for others, it's you've been single and you're ready for love, you're ready for marriage, you're ready for something else. And you're saying no to this masculine, no matter if he comes back to rebirth yourself. So some of you are there as well, even if they come back. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting. Let's get some messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. What would this Masculine like to say to the Divine Feminine at this time? Again, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. God did not let me get away from mistreating you. Good. <laughs> Trust me, every pain, every tear I cried, not because I was hurt, hurt but because I was awakened to the pain I caused you and our sacred union. So this is really affecting the masculine, okay? Really affecting him. He's like, fuck, what did I do? I was an asshole. Um, I know we believe in God and God believes in us. Will you marry me? <laughs> okay. I don't think the divine feminine is going to, I mean that for some of them, but this is what they're feeling, okay? This masculine is getting really serious now. Because he's getting, it's affecting him. This He's lost so much in his life that it's forced him to look at his life and what he's doing in his patterns. I remember every word you said to me. I am applying everything you told me to my life. Okay. Well, good for you. Let's hope that you can heal. Let's see. Everything reminds me of you. Let's get one more. I don't know. This masculine has a lot of work to do, guys. Okay. He's very selfish. It's still about money for him. It's not about his heart and his soul. He just gives a shit about what's going in his pocket. Lying to hide my feelings became such a normal psychological response. I didn't realize how much it hurt others until I hurt you. I'm very sorry. See, he's a liar. He's a compulsive liar. He just cares about money. He's selfish. He doesn't care about anybody else. He hurts women. Um, and this is where he's starting to realize this in himself. So now he's going to come in and propose like what? And love bomb, which is, I think the Divine Feminine is kind of at a point where some of you are with somebody else that you know that you're running away from this. So you have to still heal and look at where you're running away. And for others, you're like, I'm ready for a rebirth. Fuck this Divine Masculine. I'll find a masculine somewhere else. What is going on with this Divine Feminine towards the masculine? Let's get some messages here. 
I'm so upset and can't believe we aren't together. I'm so angry, sad, and frustrated with our connection. Why did this happen? Yeah, this feminine is done. She's like, oh, basically go fuck yourself. Like, how dare you treat a divine feminine this way is what I'm hearing, okay? We had something has changed. Our connection feels almost like when we first met, merged, and met God together. I feel it's merging. So this is where some of you are running away. Some divine feminines are running away and being with a third party, but you're feeling the merge happen and you haven't hit a point in your consciousness where you've been able to allow that to purify you and still be detached. That's a difficult aspect to get into. Hit me up for coaching, guys. I've done it. You can manifest your alchemized um, Akashic, what you're meant to have, even if this masculine doesn't want to come back. You can't force anybody in free will. But so you can still feel this divine feminine and you can feel it merging. You can feel it different. But this feminine is also still very focused on herself. Okay. All I can do is pray and surrender to a higher power. Exactly. She's like, I'm done. Like, all I'm doing is surrendering it. Bye. I'm so sorry I pulled away, but I need to heal and move on from this vibration. It's not healthy for me. Exactly. She's like, I can't deal with this vibration. I'm over it. And she's like, even we're meant to be. We're meant to be. Maybe it's just in the energies for now. I need one more for divine feminine. We have, I am focused on my mission work and following the path spirit is laying for me and laying out for me. I'm courageously stepping into the calling and I'm noticing how much I'm healing doing my mission. And she's focused on her coin and her money. And that's healing her. So she doesn't care about this anymore. Hmm. Let's get some timing. Let's see what's going on. Interesting read, guys. Interesting read. Let's clean it up now and get some final. I can't believe this reading went so fast. What time frame stamps anything else from the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? I have to improve my health. Yeah, because you're dealing with parasitical losers. If you believe, he's believing in this connection, he's choosing a new direction, he's taking up his free will and making those choices. Any time frame for this Divine Masculine? No, he's just getting help from people. So no time frame. Let's see Divine Feminine towards the Divine Masculine. What is the Feminine? Some of you are waiting. Some of you are saying yes. Some of you are sitting in forgiveness. Okay. So some of you do still want this, but you're working on yourselves. Okay. And you're coming into forgiveness and you're saying yes to this connection. Okay, you believe it's going to happen in perfect timing, so you're not really that focused on it, and you're leveraging and moving, dating other people, okay, a year from now. For some of you, it can take up to a year from now if you decide to wait. If you don't decide to wait, if you're not waiting, spirit is like, don't worry, somebody else is coming, okay? So that's how it is. The situation will improve, guys, okay, even if it's with this person or with someone else. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you want to work with me. All that info is down below. Sending you so much love. Bye, guys.